If I say something along the phrase of, I'll be real extra, can y'all respond, how extra are you? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So uh, let, let, let's start that off real quick. Um, you know, fam, sometimes I'd be like, real extra. How extra are you? I came dressed to Leo's album release like y'all came to see me. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes, other times, I'll be like, real extra. There was this one time I changed into gym clothes, trying to get back into a club I got kicked out of. True story. But other times, I'd be like, real extra. I've learned over the years how to drop these mooncakes <laughs> to the ground with both shoes off. Watch how this panda express himself on the dance floor. See, this is the kind of Chinese you take out for a family gathering. <laughs> But I'd be anything but cheap or convenient to be this loud and proud to work. <laughs> Took years to finally find myself and months to broadcast my discovery. So yeah, every sunrise be my debut. And each debut, a shuttle launch, a revolution in surround sound. My voice be loud enough to break the silence my people had suffered through. Taught that our job options would only ever be behind closed doors and never the big screen. But now, <laughs> I'm the next big thing. Y'all better call me Asian Khaleesi. Alexander John of House Lu, first king and queen of dynasties, the breaker of railroad tracks, the origin of dragons, and proof of my mother's victory, her gift to an empty home. I was born a year after my grandfather's death. My chubby, toothless smile was a reincarnation of the joy he left behind. See, I was such a fat kid, um, my family called me Baby Buddha. <laughs> Partly because of my weight, mainly because of the faith they had in me. My laughter embodied the better life they had been fighting for. I have been bench pressing my family's happiness since birth. Damned I'd be if I'd let my depression arm wrestle a generation from smiling again. Because someone said my poetry saved his life. Another said my jokes made her day that much more bearable. I am the class clown teaching a lesson on survival. So fuck a half empty glass of water. I've cried too many tears, then my cup runneth over. My poetry spilling an ocean of revelations where every good day is celebration and every bad day a disaster. I will turn into a funny story sometimes And some days I'll be acting extra foolish Just a reminder of what it is to be alive Woo!